All right, this is John Cole with OKRaw.com. Today we are outside of the Whole Foods Market here, and we're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna go buy some raw agave syrup, or raw agave nectar, however you wanna call it, and we're gonna do actually blood sugar testing. So I've been fasting for over eight hours now, and we're gonna go buy the agave, eat some agave, and then test my blood sugar. All right, so now we're inside the Whole Foods, and this is the uh, sweetener section. You can see all the different honeys up there, and. Here's the agaves, and this is something you wouldn't see. Just 10 years ago, 10 years ago in 19, uh, or year 2000, you know, they didn't have all these agaves. They were not even available. They were a man-made created product just recently. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out an agave here. They even have the uh, Whole Foods brand agave there. It's raw. It must be raw, because it says raw. So we're gonna pick out some agave, and we're gonna do the test. All right, so as you can see, we have the uh, really raw organic agave nectar. Now this stuff for just 13.25 ounces was $6.99. That's some really expensive stuff here. And I got the really raw version because some people say that the uh, regular version is not really raw. And what we're gonna do is do my fasting blood sugar right now. So as you can see here, I have a blood sugar test kit or a blood sugar meter here. And uh, they're really easy to get them at any drugstore. It's uh, common that diabetics use these. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, open it up and get it out a test strip. Insert the test strip into the meter. Next thing we'll do, it comes on. So the next thing we do, it's flashing like blood. So now I got to get some blood here. So we got a little. Uh, Lancet device. This is all in the name of science. Okay, ready? Oh, Jesus, hurt. Okay. Uh, okay, now we put it on here. Okay, now it's working. Thank God that was enough blood. As you can see, it's uh, the machine is working here. Hopefully, that's enough blood. Okay, awesome. My fasting blood sugar, as you can see on the meter, hopefully, it says 82. All right. So 82 is my fasting blood sugar. And now you're gonna see me eat the agave and then we're gonna do another test. All right, now we're gonna drink the agave. I don't recommend doing this at home. I'm only doing this for this testing purposes. This is probably the first time that I've actually bought agave. I feel strongly that agave is not a good thing for us to eat as we will see from this test to see if it raises my blood sugar once and for all. And you know what, you could do this test if you do not believe me. Go buy a blood sugar meter at your local drugstore. So this is brand new agave. We just unwrapped it. And, uh, you know, don't do this at home. This is not healthy. Raw agave. Down the hatch. Non-distinct sweet flavor. Man, the whole package is 13.25 ounces. For a good test, man, I, I gotta do at least half of this stuff. <laughs> if you look at the uh, nutrition facts, you know what? It's like pretty much all zeros. There's some carbohydrates and sugars in here, but I mean, you're pretty much, there's n no nutrition to agave other than the, just the sheer sweetness. Now, in my opinion, we wanna be eating whole foods, not, you know, highly processed man-made foods that only started appearing in the 19, the late 1990s actually, it was created in the 1990s. Okay, man, this is pretty tough, but I gotta do it. I might get sick first. This is really not enjoyable. One of the questions that I often ask people is, you know, if it's a food you're considering eating, one of the questions to ask yourself, you know, can you make a meal out of it? I could easily make a meal out of, you know, tangerines, which is actually what I'm gonna eat after this whole testing is over today. But if you could eat this stuff straight, man, more power to you, because it's, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Okay, so I gotta go, man. 
have some more here. Alright man, one more squeeze. I thought it would be good. I'll be probably like about halfway done. Oh man, and in one teaspoon, and there's 52 teaspoons per container, 30 calories, so 52 times 30. That's a lot of calories in this little small container. For ex you know, for an example, you know, banana has approximately 100 calories, and there's a lot of calories in this, so you know, it's not so natural. All right, last time, and I'm gonna be done eating the agave. I'm, I think I'm feeling it already. I'm feeling a rush. Thank God I'm finished. Oh, that's hardcore, man. Don't recommend doing that. Um, and we're gonna we'll see you back here real soon do another blood sugar test and uh, we'll see where I end up at see if it raises my blood sugar all right and we're back and it's been about a half hour since I drank the straight agave syrup I'm not feeling too optimal here my stomach feels a little bit I don't know heavy and I just kind of I don't know feel a little bit weird but uh, anyways we're gonna do another blood sugar test so let's go ahead and insert the uh, test strip in the meter and the meter is once again gonna flash and say hey I need your blood dude and so this is my least favorite part where I need to take let's do another finger this time <laughs> take the little uh, lancet device and uh, press the button oh man I don't like that and we'll squeeze oh we got some good blood this time all right so that should be enough blood there put that in the meter there and we'll see what the my blood sugar is now. Uh, to remind you, about a half hour ago it was 82 before I drank the agave. Oh, look at that. It's 97 now. So it went up 15 points just in a little over a half hour from drinking the agave syrup. 97 is what it came up with. So my blood sugar has definitely gone up in the half hour since I drank the straight agave that supposedly is, you know, not supposed to raise your blood sugar. So, uh, definitely does raise your blood sugar and we'll be talking more about this in the uh, summary at the end of this video all right so you just saw the blood test that I did with the agave and it did definitely raise my blood sugar but you know the thing to remember is that blood sugar is only one aspect of a food you know there's many other aspects besides blood sugar and how a food will affect your body so I have here an agave uh, information sheet that I put together it's downloadable on the website rawfoods.com under the articles and information section or under the articles section and I'll just read from it really briefly raw agave contains 85 to 90 percent fructose nowhere in nature does this high level of fructose occur naturally high fructose corn syrup is only 55 percent fructose and we know that is not healthy fresh fruit contains only between 5 and 8 percent fructose Agave is a concentrated sweetener and can help perpetuate a sugar addiction. I think that's very important because, you know, in our society we're really meant to eating basically, you know, candy and things and we've got that in our mind that that's what we should be doing, that we should be eat really, eating really sweet things. So when we go in from a standard diet where we eat, you know, cakes and cookies and candy bars to a raw diet, we look something to meet that same sugar addiction. You know what we need to do? We need to kick that sugar addiction in the butt and move away to from the sugar addiction. Nature's natural sugars are fresh fruits, right? That have sugar, but also water, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and other things contained within them, and not basically extracted high, you know, um, sugars in, in an isolated form. According to Gabriel Cousins, agave syrup is not raw. So, you know, one of the things is, just because it's raw doesn't mean it's healthy, and I give a whole lecture on that, and hopefully you've seen me at one of my lectures. It's an audience participation. There's a couple versions of it online if you do an internet search. Just because it's raw doesn't mean it's healthy. Not everything that's raw is healthy. And so, basically, is we want to get back to the basics here. We want to eat, you know, the best sweetener on the planet is whole fresh fruits, and maybe after whole fresh fruits, be dried 
fruits. So dried fruits would basically be fresh fruits without the sugar. And there are whole products, you could recognize them. There's orange trees or tangerine trees that grow in nature. There's no such thing as agave tree. And I'm sure if you got the agave syrup out of the plant, it's not gonna taste the same as extracted agave syrup that's been highly processed. So we wanna eat, you know, another thing about raw foods, we wanna eat things that have not been processed. And things that have been processed, you've got to kind of wonder how they've been processed and what they've done to it. The other thing is $6.99 for a little bottle. That's like all really expensive. I think, you know, definitely fresh fruits, dried fruits, and if you have to do another sweetener, I think if you're not vegan, honey is definitely a better sweetener because that at least occurs naturally in nature. It's not made in a factory. So we want to be getting back to eating whole, fresh fruits and vegetables. So this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com and hope you've learned a little bit more about agave 